hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be doing some more seeds and today i'm going to show y'all planting in my uh seed starter greenhouse that's from the dollar tree i'm going to plant um i use these for when i'm planting uh something that i can use the whole 12 holes for um that's going to be all one uh, variety. So, yeah. So, that's what we're going to be doing right now is planting in the seed starter greenhouse from the Dollar Tree. So, I'm just getting my soil in there. And, guys, I don't have... Uh, seed starting uh mixture i have potting soil so that's what i'm using um you know you use what you got on hand i've got a bunch of this and so that's what i'm using uh you can use soil uh, seed starting mix that's what i usually do but i've got so much of this that um I'd rather just use this instead of spending more money because they won't be in it very long and then they'll go into the garden or into the pot that they're going to live in. So, yeah. All right. So, what to do first? Um... I think I'm going to do... Uh, these are from Baker Creek. I've never grown these. So, Cubanelle, I believe is how it's spelt, from Baker Creek. I'm going to go ahead and use this whole, or I could do six and six, um, which I think I just might do. So, I'm going to do six. One side, I'm going to do the Cubanelle, Cubanelli. And the other side, I'm going to do habanadas. These are uh, habanero peppers that have no heat. And so, I've always wanted to taste a habanero, but I cannot have the heat. So, this way I can have a habanero with no heat. Okay. So, let me uh, mark these. Okay, dry it off a little bit, stick it right in there. Okay, so we're going to make little holes. And I know people say that the reason to use potting soil or seed starting mix instead of potting soil is because of these little sticks and stuff. But, honestly, I don't pack it, and so those little twigs and stuff, they don't, they don't keep me from having a great germination. So, I'm not worried about it. And, yes, it does have some uh, fertilizer in it already, and that they don't need it, but it's not going to hurt them. So, but you use what you want to use, but this is just how I'm doing it. And again, like the last time, one seed each hole. I'm not wasting seeds. I'm not, it just kills me to cut off plants. And then I started um, not cutting away the smaller ones and just keeping the bigger one. Then I started just separating them. And then I've got way too many. And um, yeah, so again... I just planted the Cubanella, Cubanelli, Cubanelli, and that's what I did on this side. Just lightly cover them up. Um, I guess that would be like 
an inch deep, maybe a little less. And sorry, guys, about my uh, goat. She's being mistreated. She's not able to do what she wants to do. And she wants, she hears me, so she wants to be here with me. And that just is not going to happen. Okay, just make little holes. And then if there is a little stick that gets in your way, just move it out of the way. All right. Now for the habanadas, baby. I'm so excited to try these. And I think this is the first or second season that they've come out with these. So... And, um, got stuck under my, you know, okay, and one more. Make a little tag for it. And that's the habanada. The habanada. All right, got that one going. Let it dry a little bit so it don't smear. And ta-da. And so let me get my watering can and we'll mist it and um, put it under the dome and it'll be ready to go under the lights. Okay, guys. So I have my mister and you just pump it up okay let me see if it's spraying good yeah it's a mist and I just missed it lightly okay I got sprayed on everything all right, so we're going to take this out, whoops, and guys, I figured out where I got all of these, um, it's these split in half, at the end of the season, I just uh, split them in half, and so I've got all of these, so that tells you how many I bought last year, I used a lot of them, I really did, the dollar uh, tree. They have some good quality stuff for a dollar. Alright. So put that in its little container. And voila. And then this, if you can see it, is ready to go under the lights. And for a dollar, guys, you cannot say no. I mean, it's a complete greenhouse for it. So, yeah. So that one's ready to go. We'll bring another one over here. Put that one over there.
some more in there. The goat you hear is um, Izzy LaBella. She is my uh, herd queen, my foundation doe. But she's the boss, so she used she just loves to get her way. Say that she thinks she should have her way on everything that happens around here. So if you hear her crying, that's why. She's not getting her way. So, all right, guys. So, here's another one set up. Let's see. I guess we'll do... These got wet. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to do... And I did realize where I got these from. These seeds. They are not from Walmart. They are from the Dollar Tree. And you get four packs for a dollar. And trust me, that is a good deal. Oops. So it is a Grand Bell mix. Grand Bell mix. And I think on the Grand Bell mix, I'll go ahead and do the whole thing. Well, I say I'm going to. The seeds may have another idea. All right, let's see. So we'll poke a hole. <laughs> she is spoilt rotten, guys. She's the... The biggest sport one out of all of them. There's two other goats out there, and she, as you can tell, she's the only one crying. She thinks she needs to have what she wants, regardless. She's got food, she's got water, she's got hay. She's just a big crybaby. And pretty soon I'll be doing a video on my goats. Um, just not a lot going on right now. I've only got one bread out of three. Um, and uh, so we'll have a birthing video coming up in April. She's due the 4th of April. So we'll be looking for that video. I'm very excited to film that video. This will be the second kidding on the homestead, and I did not video the last one. I wasn't even on YouTube, so. All right, so we're going to go with, what is this? The Grand Bell Mix. So this whole thing's gonna be those. Take it up. Oops. Almost had a disaster. Put that in. Let me tighten up this tip, I think. Or loosen it one. Yeah, it's loosened. <laughs> Because that spray is just too much. It sprays too far. Yeah. So we'll just give it a little drink. <laughs> Haven't played with this thing since last year. So I'm still learning it. All right. 
So, there you go, guys. I've got the whole thing in the Grand Bell Mix. Uh, bell Peppers. So, there you go. Look how easy is that? Now, um, I did not bring nothing out here to wipe down. Let's see. Use one of these. Kind of clean up because it's wet and it's nasty. Let's see. Use one of these. And I'll go inside and get something to clean up in a little bit. But for now, that'll just have to do it. Okay. So, what else was I wanting to show you? Okay, so here is another way of uh, doing your uh, soil blocks. This is another way that you can start your seeds, is soil blocks. You... Um, Get some damp uh, seed starting mix, and um, and then you just put them down in the soil, tap it down, and then it pushes them out, and then you've got squares. Now, that is a big one. I don't know what size it is. Let's see if it says. It doesn't say. No, it might. Let me see. No, it doesn't. Alright. So this is a four block. This is a four block. Pretty big size. This right here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Twenty. You can do twenty little ones. See that? And again, you would just stamp it down in the soil. The, the moistened soil, and then do that. Oh, see? And it just pushes them out, and you've got tiny little blocks. Um, don't remember. I think we got them on Amazon a while back. But, um, yeah, this is another idea of how to get started in seeds if you don't have containers. Um, let me see what else. This, let me find it. I got these from Walmart. Um, you know, when they sell the, the plants out of them, they just throw them over in a corner somewhere and throw them away later. Well, these... These work perfect for these little cups that I told you from uh, Dollar Tree. You just put them right in there. And they fit perfect. And so you can carry, uh, once you get your stuff started, You it's a carrier. And it's very, uh, well, that might be two of them. But um, anyway, but they're real, it's a genius. That way you don't have to try to carry them and having them fall over or whatever. Um, yeah, I got that. Let's see. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Well, I say I've got another one. Okay, here it is. Now, see, they had mammoth jalapenos in this one. So, it's just a, when people at Walmart just buy the, the plants out of it, these just go in the trash. And so, I got a bunch of them uh, a couple of years ago. And, uh, I believe, no, nope, that one's still big, uh, for the little ones. So, I didn't bring out my, my one with the big holes in it for the bigger ones. So, these just fit right in there. And then they have the other ones that uh, have the bigger holes and it, uh, you put the, the big ones in. 
you put these bigger ones in it. So, but these are for the little ones. And uh, you get them free from Walmart when they're done with the... Uh, and you can actually, if you see some of these with one or two plants in it, you can take them out and fill another one up and just tell them you want that. And they'll give it to you. So, yeah. So, when I make up a bunch of these out here, all I got to do is just put them in there. Just put them in there and I can carry them uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I can carry 12 of them wherever I need to without worried about knocking them over or something. So, yeah. So that's something to think about, too. Alright, so what are we doing next? Besides drying off my bags. Okay. Alright, what to start next? Okay, we'll do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seventy-two. This is a seventy-two tray. So I can get a bunch of stuff in this one. Let's see how we're doing with this. And guys, you're going to make a mess. Um, it's no big deal. I know some people are very anal about uh, keeping everything nice and neat. But really, this is the one time you get to play in the dirt get to be a little messy, and then when you're done, you can clean up and be done. So, I don't stress about this. Okay, maybe that's enough. But yeah, I this is the one time I can play dirty and, and not worry about it. Yeah. I love getting in the soil, getting dirt underneath my fingernails. This is my relaxing time. It is very relaxing to do seed starts. Love it, love it. Now I've got too much, I think. We'll push that there. Poke them down. And then fill them up. Okay. There we go. And you can just move the little sticks. I mean, it's no big deal. And they're not going to prevent your seeds from sprouting. Because it's not packed down like a brick. It's loose. So, yeah. Alright. So, decisions, decisions. What am I going to pro? <laughs> I have no earthly idea at this moment. I'm going to look through my seeds. 
I think I need to start hot peppers is what I need to start. So, I think that's what I'm going to start with. So, I started my sweet peppers the other day. And I just did some more. So, I think that's what I'm going to do now. Let's see. Okay, guys. So, on this 72 tray, I'm going to be doing... Let me see. Let me get all my stuff ready. Okay, these are Anaheim peppers. They are a hot pepper. I'm going to be doing those. I'm going to be doing a purple cayenne pepper. It's a purple cayenne pepper. This one is from SeedsNow.com, which I am an affiliate with. So I'll leave a uh, code below. And if y'all are interested, uh, try them out. Um, I'm going to be doing... Pimento peppers, um, not this one, Let's see, I'm, it's a pimento, Hungarian pimento pepper, um, I believe I got that from Walmart, I believe this one come from Walmart, but it's a Hungarian pimento pepper, it's hot, um, long slim cayenne pepper, the red one. Let's see. A golden cayenne pepper, which is like the red, except it's uh, golden yellow. Uh, I didn't have enough hot peppers to go around, so let me see. A sheep nose pimento. Never tried this from Baker Creek. Uh, but I do need some pimento peppers. So I'm going to be trying, what, a couple of different ones. A sweet bonnet. You know this as a very hot pepper. But this is the sweet version. It is not hot. The bonnet peppers. So this is a sweet bonnet pepper. I'm going to be doing a alma paprika pepper. Because I love, love, love to dehydrate my own peppers and make my own seasonings and spices. We are doing the Tam Jalapeno. I have done this before. Love them. They're awesome. Baker Creek. We are doing Tabasco peppers. I did this uh, two years ago. And they are so prolific, guys. A little bit of this goes a long way. I do not recommend doing as many as I'm doing. But um, one plant I think is sufficient. But I'm fixing to do six. So, yeah. Um, and we also have the Grande Jalapeno. That is a very good, prolific jalapeno. So, let me see. See how many I got. Okay. And we're also doing the poblano. The poblano pepper. It's mildly hot. But, love, love, love these. So, let me see how many we got. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's going to do it for this tray. Okay, so Craig's Grande. So this one's going to stay, and this one's going to go. All right. So let me get them in order that I want them. I'll do the sweet bonnet at the end. Mm. 
Okay. All right. So that's going to go to the end. So I've got all my holes done. So now all I have to do is drop and mark. We are doing, I believe that's the Anaheim. Yep. Okay. So that's going to be the Anaheim. And there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. There's going to be six plants. So get it open. There we go. But this, this Anaheim I've grown before. I love it. I recommend it from Baker Creek. Sorry about the noise, guys. Shug is um, making our tiny house a tiny house. So you're going to be hearing a bunch of that. Okay. This is the cayenne purple. This is cayenne purple. It is from uh, seedsnow.com. And um, I've last year I used seeds.com. I fell in love with them. Their germination is amazing. And um, it actually tells you on the package what their germination is. Uh, this germination is 85%. And 99% purity. And it was, it tells when it was tested and everything. So, yeah, guys. If you haven't yet tried out SeedsNow.com, I would. Because um, these packets like this, 99 cents, most of them. Uh, some of them are $1.99. It just depends on the variety. But, um, yeah. Yeah. So, they're a reasonable, very good company to use. Now, you know, I'm a Baker Creek girl. Tried and true. But, um, with the seed shortages, uh, you can't always get what you want where you want. So you have to venture off. And that's why I ventured off and found this company. And it's good. It's really good. They don't lie. They tell you what the germination is. Um, you know, 85%. So, yeah. that there you know they could have said 98 percent but they didn't they're honest okay next is the hungarian pimento the hungarian pimento and this i got from walmart and it did have a good germination rate last year so that's why i'm reusing them if they don't have a good germination rate and i know i did everything right in the trash they go. So.
Okay. We'll cut that down there. Get some of that put left there. All right, so. Do a pimento. And guys, if there's anything that I did not explain or you've got questions, leave them down in the comments section below. I will be happy to answer any questions you have. Or if I didn't explain something good, just let me know. Um, I'm always available to answer questions. Now, I am not by any means a professional gardener. I am a homestead gardener. And I just do what works for me and um, what we like. So, this just gives you some different ideas from everybody else. I know there are a lot of gardeners out there. And everybody gives you something. Not, I don't think one gardener gives you everything. But... One gardener gives you a little of something, and then you can you can learn a lot through just watching all the YouTube videos and how everybody does. Because um, there's just, I don't know, there's so many ways of doing things. Okay, next one is the Long Slim Hot Cayenne Pepper. Now, that's the true red ones. That's the one you're used to seeing. So, this time I have, I have the red, I have the purple, and I have the golden, which is yellow. So, it's an experiment for me because all I've done in the past is the yellow, or not the yellow, the red. I have not done the yellow, and I have not done the purple. So, this is the first time for me. And, um, like I said before in the other video... New homestead, new things to try. Um, you know, this is a different soil. It is a different um, area. Um, grow zone. It's a different grow zone. It's just everything different. So, yeah. So, I'm just trying out new things. Okay, so that's the long, red, hot cayenne. And I plan on, um, just, I'm, I'm real adventurous now, this year. Um, see what works, what don't work, and, uh, go from there. So... Very exciting to try new things. Okay, there we go. On to the next. This is a sheep nose pimento. And uh, the other one was a Hungarian. And this is a sheep nose pimento. So they're both pimentos. They're just different kinds. I do not know. I don't know if that's a sweet pimento or a hot pimento. But we will find out at the end. I am so excited, guys. I mean, it's all new this year. I was not happy with the soil or sand that went along with the old property. I think I'm going to have a lot of success this year with, uh, with this soil.
So I am not, okay, again, that was the sheep nose. Pimento from Baker Creek. Um, let's see, I better write that down before I forget. I mean, it's going to be, it's not going to be as big this year, I don't believe, garden-wise, because we have so much to do, um, to get this house, homestead up and running. So, although it looks like I'm doing a lot, I'm really not, um, we're going this is a trial and error year. New homestead. So, all right. So back to this. Um, this is the golden cayenne. And this is from Totally Tomatoes. The golden cayenne. Never tried it. Excited to try it. Very excited to try it. Um, I love starting new things. And then this is going to be just trying out things, seeing what works, what don't work. Um, and then next year we'll have a better idea. And so we can grow on that. And, um, and expand. Because not everything that I plant this year will um, wow us or be oh my god so some of these things that I'm doing this year will be cut out next year and new things added but again that is the golden cayenne the yellow cayenne Okay, so the Alma Paprika Pepper, that's the next one. Um, I love to make my own paprika powder. I dehydrate. Um, I will I'm be smoking it uh, in my Traeger, probably, and making some smoked paprika. Okay, let's see. All right. One, two, two. I'm just so excited to try new things this year, guys. I'm excited to see what this new homestead can do for us. Uh, Suge has memories of a big, beautiful garden that his granny did every year. And they grew, they grew out hogs here, chickens, um... But he, his fondest memories is of the garden, the big, beautiful garden that she had every year. And um, so I'm excited to start another generation of gardeners. So, all right, guys, that's the Alma Paprika from M.I. Gardener. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Craig Jalapeno. Okay, so I thought I had too many, but I don't. That is the Tam Jalapeno from Baker Creek. That's going to be next. I grow this every year, guys. Um, this is a tried and true. Look at all them seeds that stuck to that. Okay. It is tried and true tam, tam jalapenos. Love it. Um, grow it every year. Now, it may not like this soil, so we'll just have to see. It could go south. I don't know. We will see. And like I said, I'm, I'm putting one seed um, per hole. I'm not treating anyone any different. Wherever it comes from, whatever it is. Again, that's the Tam Jalapeno from Baker Creek. Okay. Got that one done. Tam jalapeno. Okay. Next in line is the Tabasco. And guys, these Tabascos are prolific. I would only do one or two to start out with because they produce so much. Oh, wow. We were overloaded with them last year. But um, I'm doing six, so... I'll be overloaded with them again this year, and um, that's okay, I guess. All right. They're very good, too. I made some Tabasco pepper sauce, and um, yes, looking forward to these. One per sale. Okay. Again, that is the Tabasco. Woohoo! Alright, next in line is the Poblano Peppers from Baker Creek. I have grown these before. I wasn't, I don't know, I think I grew them too late because they didn't, they didn't get where they were supposed to get to. Um, at the end of the season, they were not where they needed to be. So, I had very, sm at the end of the year, I had very small poblano peppers. And I believe it was my fault, not theirs. So, um, that's why I'm not judging them. I am just going to do them again. Forget about the first time. And, um. Uh, Pretend I never grew them before. <laughs> you know, because I'm sure it wasn't their fault. It was my fault. So, again, that's the Poblano from Baker Creek. Next in line 
is just a pimento pepper. So I have one, two. This is the third pimento pepper that I'm growing. It is a different variety from the last two. And this is from SeedsNow.com. And again, guys, if you're having trouble finding seeds, check out SeedsNow.com. Uh, I'm going to leave a uh, affiliate link in the description. And um, so if you're unable to find some things at your regular seat. Okay, guys. So, my phone got full. So, anyway, we just finished the pimento peppers. Where'd they go? Yeah, these right here. We just finished those from SeedsNow.com. Okay? So... On to the last but not least, we have the Craig's Grande peppers. They are from Totally Tomato. Like I said, you just have to shop around and find what's available. So, Totally Tomato is where I got these from. Alright. And that will do it for today. Once we get these planted... That's all I'm going to do today. Oh, no. Don't tell me I don't have no seed. Okay, guys. So, let me look. There is no seeds in here. So, let me pull out my trusty container and see what we have available. It's hard for me to believe that I did not get... Any more Craig's Grande. So let me look and see what I've got in here. There's Poblano, Tabasco, Tabasco, Cayenne, Anaheim, Anaheim. Rot roll, guys. It looks like I am short a pepper. No, no, here it is. Here it is. All right, so it's going to be Baker Creek's Craig's Grande Jalapeno. I did get more. Yay, so I can throw this packet away. All right, guys, so for the last pepper of the day, Craig's Grande Jalapenos, and these are grande. When They don't lie when they say they're big. They get really good size. So, highly recommend them. Um, Alright. One seed left over. So, I will be ordering some more of the Greg's Grande. Craig's Grande. I will be ordering more of them because I'm on my last pack. And this is something that I grow every year. So I've got to have it on on order. Alright guys, so let's do this. Get those down in there. Okay. Let's see, did I run out of... Okay, so we'll just put this Craig's Grande. All right. So that's Craig's Grande. We are going to take our watering tool and we are going to give it a just a little drizzle
Sorry, guys. Ugh. There we go. All right. And there you go, guys. 172 seed starter tray with 12 peppers. Okay, guys. So that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Um, there's so many ways of growing, starting seeds. Um, there's no right or wrong way. Do it your way. And um, you don't have to have, you know, expensive stuff. Uh, you can even start them in egg cartons or... Uh, coffee cans or creamer cans or any kind of cans. Um, you can start it with dirt from the from your property. Um, but just get creative. Think think outside the box and just start because it is the most enjoyable part of the year for me is to get my hands dirty, get my nails dirty. Love it, love it, and um, yeah, so I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, um, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, and God bless.